uh, I picked up this uh, case as an input, kind of an impulse buy, but I also need a new case. So uh, it's basically a uh, keyboard case, uh, and I got it for the Shield tablet. And that's honestly the first keyboard case I've ever got, so I can't really compare it to anything else. Um, but it's Bluetooth. Uh, I forget how it was like thirty something dollars. Um, basically, it's just a Walmart brand uh, Bluetooth keyboard case. Does not support sleep wake. Uh, it does not have a mouse pad built in or anything. That's why I have a mouse, and I'd rather have a mouse, so that's fine. I also bought a Bluetooth mouse uh, for like eleven bucks. Um, so it's got. Uh, let me show you. Something. Okay, so it's got these rubber bands here, uh, which are good and a bad thing. Uh, some some cases have these kind of metal hooks, and I've heard of people actually breaking their screens using those metal hooks when they put them down. I don't know how hard they're putting them down, but apparently it presses up against the screen and breaks. This has rubber bands. The problem with the rubber bands are it really, like I really had to stretch those things to get this to fit. And it did show kind of um, tension, like a, a really a lot of tension, whatever, discolored from tension. And when, when stretching it around there, originally I was actually going to return it because I thought it wasn't going to fit. But after a little bit of a hassle, it, it fit and it didn't break. And when you put it down, it, it doesn't rest on the screen. It rests on the, these two rubber bands, apparently, over on these little lips here. Um, so it does have back here. I have uh, a, an app set, so when I set it face down, it'll actually go into sleep mode. I'm using macro, uh, what the hell is it called? Uh, macro droid. So when it detects that I put the thing face down, it will turn the screen off. And as long as it's running, it should work. There it is. It's, if you're at the click, it works. So it has the kickstand like normal on the back. So you can have like a few different angles on the screen. Um, putting this in your lap, you'll probably need a lap desk. I did purchase a lap desk. Very cheap one. It'll probably fall apart. <laughs> um, but Or you, you may want to have a piece of cardboard or something to put in your lap while it is like standing up like this also pressing the keyboard unlocks the screen and turns everything on so there you go that's that so you have more of a kind of laptop it, it laptop -y kind of experience but if you need more power like the power of a pc there's things like a remote desktop or i can use uh with the nvidia shield tablet uh, there's a uh, game stream so I can actually do this. Well, actually, what's going on? It didn't see it. I don't know. I don't know. It didn't see my, my desktop before, but I don't know if it was just because I just launched it. Hmm. But you can stream your desktop. Uh, Splashtop works. Game stream works. Moonlight game stream works. Um, so anything that, that you can beam your desktop over. Yeah, so it doesn't seem to be working. Um, also, there is the function key, which you can use with all these blue little things. So if I want to hit back and get out of that, I can. It's having trouble finding my PC for some reason. Gee, GameStream never does that. Um, oh, great being weird okay now it should work so where is hmm let's try to get remote desktop here the wheel works obviously and where did I put windows uh, apparently it just removed itself I don't know Oh, now, now it's offline. Forget about it. It's just acting up. It's going offline, online, whatever. Um, so, yeah, then, of course, you can play your, your PC games. 
I wouldn't really recommend doing that with this. It's a, even though the keyboard's perfectly fine for typing and browsing the internet and everything, it playing trying to play like an online first person shooter or something is ridiculous. Um, it's it's too cramped. So yeah, you can do it. Maybe you can get used to it. Maybe I just suck with a mouse and keyboard, and I do. But this one's a lot harsher. Uh, so, yeah. There's that. Of course, you have your media apps and all that crap that you can use. And, yeah, so I'm just showing apps. That has nothing to do with the keyboard. Um, so one thing I've had a problem with, if I can get out of here, uh, with this keyboard when typing. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, sometimes it skips letters, but this mostly happens if I try to use the desktop version of YouTube. It starts to make the keyboard actually act up. And then I normally have to shut the keyboard off, wait a little while, and turn it back on to get it back to a better performance. And if I want perfect performance, I have to turn the tablet off and turn it back on, which I don't know why, but it seems to be a thing with YouTube, the desktop, at least on Chrome, the desktop version of YouTube um, really is runs poorly uh, when trying to use this, this keyboard. You've had the same issue with other keyboards as well, other Bluetooth keyboards. Uh, but you can browse the internet here. Uh, you can use your desktop uh, browser if you just use like remote desktop or something like that. Um, yeah. So yeah, then uh, what else is, I don't know what, um, what version of Bluetooth this is, it doesn't say. Looking on here, there's no mentioning of what version of Bluetooth this is using. So, but it is compatible with Android, Apple iOS? What's Apple iOS? They're just stating that it's Apple. It doesn't mention OS X. Um, and Windows. So, it comes with a charging cable. I had a little trouble trying to use the charging cable that came with it. There's a USB port over here, but it seems to be a little buried underneath this thing. There's a little, like, kind of notch for it, but it seems to be the slightest bit buried. And the cable is kind of thick. The, the micro USB end is a little thick. So I use my phone charger, which has a thin cable, has a thin micro USB uh, whatever. And that fit fine. But I had trouble with, uh, with the one that was included. It wouldn't, it wouldn't even work at all. So I don't know. But then again, I was using two different chargers. I was using this, which is a portable charger when I tried the included cable and when I tried the phone charger I used my actual fast charger which is more powerful um, but that's that um, keys are good they're they're fairly good I mean there's not much different than the keyboards I normally use on my desktop except for the little shrunken down they're easy to type on uh, the only thing, of course, is because it's a little shrunken down, they use the function key for certain things you may be used to not using that for. So uh, you can use, you can lock the screen like that, and then unlock it with the space bar completely. Um, you can use the, the function plus the lock to access the power menu, to turn off the device, stuff like that. And it has volume and stuff like that. So yeah, you can change the volume that works. Home, back, buttons work. I think this works like uh, Google Now. Yeah, Google search thingy. Um, so yeah. And there's Google Now. Right there, oh, Google, uh, which face? Yeah, that. If I could ever remember. Back, nope, have to hit the function key in the back button. Ugh. 
Okay. So the back, there's no cutout for the camera. Um, so you will be blocking your camera. So if you actually use it, I don't. But if you actually use your camera, then this is going to block it. Uh, let's show you the thickness of this. Uh, there's a magnet, by the way, on here that keeps it shut. It actually does a good job. I was surprised, even though it feels like it doesn't do anything. But the thickness, it's kind of like a small uh, hardcover book. So it does protrude out a little like this. See, the, the tablet does protrude out. Kind of. So that may be something. But uh, it's kind of like carrying a small book. And, uh, yeah. When you open it up, if I actually undo this latch, and then you can pull out the kickstand and use it like a laptop. I was actually thinking about getting a laptop because I wanted to sit on my my couch and use, a, use something like a laptop, but I didn't really need a full laptop just to do things like I was going to do, like maybe browse the internet stuff like that but I kind of wanted to lean back and use something like that on the couch and then I was like wait why don't I just get a keyboard case for my tablet I can browse the internet with my tablet and if I need the power of a PC I can just stream it from my desktop and it'll be the same kind of idea as a laptop I can even actually access the USB ports over a wireless network using uh, an app that I can't think of right now. The hell is it called? There's an app for that. You can plug in USB devices and have them recognized by your PC. So, yeah. That's that. And then sitting down with the mouse and keyboard and everything is cool. Um, you know, it works very well. Uh, I recommend getting a mouse. It's kind of pointless if you just have the keyboard. Uh, because using the touch screen with the keyboard is a pain in the ass. And you're better off just using the goddamn tablet's touch screen. It makes it harder. But if you have a mouse, it makes it really easy. And that's that. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, battery seems fine. Came out of the case with some, some battery power. Um, about it. Not much to it. Uh, hmm. You can connect it. There's a connect button. You just press that, and it, and it you find it in Bluetooth. In your Bluetooth menu. Yeah, it's not much else to it. Just that's it. I don't know. Probably, probably get better for less. I don't know. So, just wanted to show up because I didn't see this on YouTube. So it is the on uh, universal Bluetooth uh, keyboard folio thingy for seven to eight inch tablets. So it says fits most, by the way. So uh, you want to check on that. <laughs> Although there's not much information on this online. But it does with a little bit of a, a fight fit the shield tablet so there you go thank you for watching